Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you a journal that I've finished. <clears throat> um, this journal will be going on my Etsy. It's a kind of blank journal um, and with the journal you'll get a bundle of um, things to actually use inside the journal. But first of all I will tell you um, and show you the journal. It's one signature um, and it's got 104 pages, that's front and back. Um, it measures uh, just a fraction under eight inches by five and a half inches. It's I've made it using an envelope. Um, I've gave qu quite a bit of the organza on here as well, obviously, because it's not full of stuff at the moment. I've left this blank so that it can be titled as um, however it needs to be titled. I've just got a little kind of um, Rick Recky thing going on here. It's making sure I'm in frame. Um, cover's all been mod podged, so let's go inside. <clears throat> I've used just like scraps of things, so it is just a quick flip through. I've got a pocket here. Um, <clears throat> papers, some of the papers have been coffee dyed. There's paper bags and scrap pieces. I've done the lines on here. I've got a pocket here. This also flips up. I have done some stamping inside. Um, some note paper. I've got an envelope there and it's open so you can put something in there. There's another paper bag here and another paper bag here some gridded paper this is an envelope and it's opened at the top so you can pop things inside there done the lines with corrugated cardboard um, this is a like a lunch bag and I've folded it up so you've got a, a pocket here um, I'm not in frame pocket here it opens up and I've left it so that you can actually tuck things inside there as well so it's got a um, a gusset at the side so you can actually kind of pack that pretty well. Um, envelope here so that's a tuck and it flips out so you can tuck things inside there. Some more notebook page, um, some vintage book page. This is a paper bag and I've just trimmed the end off so that's a pocket. Another paper bag. Um, this red paper bag. Envelope in the centre of the signature. Um, it's got a little slit there so you can pop that in there. Some more lines. And that's open so you can tuck things inside there. <coughs> And that's the other side of the paper bag that flips up. That's a pocket. Use this envelope, it's got this really nice embossed piece on the flap. Um, and that opens out so you can put things inside there. And that's the envelope which is opened at the top. And that flips down and it's open there so you can put things, tuck things in behind there. That is the back and it's a pocket here, you colour them in. So that's the journal, let me show you what I've put together to go with it. Um, oops, I'll just pop that to one side. Okay, so <clears throat> um, I'm going to die cut some more of them actually and add them. I, they were just left around and I've just accidentally gathered them up. So I'll actually add some more, more of them to it as well. We've got um, two scalloped um, jelly bean soup pockets, a coffee dyed paper. Got some little mini envelopes, um, some airmail ones. thought I'd share one of these because that's um, I got that got a bundle of them in a rack um, or in a swap actually I've got some journaling cards here these some of these are prima uh, 
Isn't that pretty? Inked up some tickets, so there's six there. There's um, just over a yard of eyelash trim. There is six doilies. There's two jumbo index cards which have been coffee dyed. Two pockets that flip up so you can put them wherever you like in the journal. And then there is six coffee dyed tags that have been stamped. And six plain coffee dyed tags that can be used as um, as you wish. So that's the little bundle that goes with it. And that is the journal. Um, it will be listed on my Etsy. So if you're interested, the link will be below. If you've got any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.